Hey there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make a little table for your travel easel, one of the like aluminum styles that are pretty inexpensive, a lot of us have. And all you're gonna need is one of these uh, steering wheel tray tables that you can use for like food or laptops or what, whatnot. And I'll just take this off so you can see. Now I'm gonna to try to stay out of the shot because I am completely not presentable right now. Uh, <laughs> I am totally just in grimy clothes. This is what this looks like. You can find them for like 10 bucks or less on Amazon. They've got one side for like, actually this side has a little cup that you could put your um, rinse water in and then there's this flat area you could put your palette. This is meant for like dining in your car, like and this, this fits with friction fits in your steering wheel. I bought it for plein air painting because sometimes I'm stuck in my car and I want to do some painting or drawing. Or then you can have this side, which is a laptop side. There's actually a space for your um, for your pen if you want to. And I just thought it was a really nifty invention. And I bought it for sitting in the driver's seat. If I see a pretty scene, I could pull over and I could paint. But then um, I wondered if this would go on my um, my easel. And originally I put it on there and I'll show you what happened. And it was just like really floppy. So I was like, maybe this will work. And then I'm like, oh, well, I mean, maybe I could like tape my palette paper to it or something and use it and that would be all right. Um, and actually even a viewer suggested, could you use that on an easel? I'm like, I tried, but it was so floppy. But then I was at the Dollar Tree and I saw pool noodles. So what you want to do is um, get a Dollar Tree pool noodle. Actually, you can also get um, better quality ones from like the grocery store that are thicker, which might even work better. I'm not sure. This seemed to work just fine. And you're gonna cut a slit. I would say probably about four inches down. And then you're going to cut off a piece of that. And I'm just using Dollar Tree, actually utility scissors, but you can use, I'm sure a knife or a saw or Whatever, I'm just doing this, you know, you can be neater about it. I'm just trying to kind of give a a pretty good, oh my gosh, a pretty good, just uh, quick and easy DIY. Cut two of those, and then you're just gonna put them on the, um, I'm gonna take the tray off here. You're gonna put these on the legs. Now this, my easel actually had these little pieces here. I'm not exactly sure what they're for. They're like little, uh, I think they're maybe for like hanging weights on, like if you want to weight down your um, your easel. I think that's what it's for. If you know what this is for, you can let me know. I think it's for like probably hanging sandbags or a bucket with water in it or something for weight. Just put those on the, um, on the legs. Now if you don't have those little stoppers and you'll have to kind of hold it in place and then you're just gonna push the uh, little arm here of the tray table. I'm going to bring these legs a little closer together. And then I'm just going to push that pool noodle into the, um, into the little, uh, whatchamacallit, the little thing there. And the, if you don't have the little things on your easel and your pool noodles are sliding down, you could just wrap like a couple wraps of maybe duct tape or something like that to keep it there. Now this isn't super duper solid, but it's certainly solid enough to set your palette and set a brush. I, you could flip it over and have the other side up if you wanted a little brush holder or put even like a little cup of like a solvent or something. Um, obviously it will have a little bit of give to it, but it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be bad. You could use it on the other side if you wanted to, like I showed you originally, just, just take it off and flip it over. It's a little awkward, but I just wanted to share that idea in case you have one of these metal easels and you have one of these steering wheel trays. I know um, a few people purchased those steering wheel trays when I showed them during a sat chat, so I thought I would just give you that idea and then I'll zoom out a little bit, hopefully, so you can see the room of horde. Well, I guess I'll just have to back up because, <laughs> oh, and this is really difficult because I have stuff in the way. But, um, but yeah, there you can kind of see that type of easel and how it all goes together. I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a frugal Friday and a very creative weekend. Bye.